some forces can be classified as conservative. So what we're going to talk about here is very important at a fundamental level. In terms of your day-to-day -day life and doing physics, eh, uh, let's cover it anyway, because it's so fundamental. We have to cover conservative forces. My plain spoken definition of conservative forces is they don't waste energy. All right. Now let's go to the textbook definition of a conservative force. A force is conservative if one of two things. Here we go. One, work done by the force, work done by the force on a mass is zero um, through a loop. I should say the, the total work. So let's think about the gravitational force and let's think about this piece of chalk here. So here is an xy coordinate plane. And I'm going to take this chalk and I'm going to move it through a loop in this plane, right? So here is the loop. It doesn't have to be round. I'm going to move it around like this. I'm going to start here and move around this loop. And let's think about the work done by gravity, uh, the gravitational force. First, I'm pushing up. Oh, I'm having to do a lot of work. All right, so negative work from gravity. Oh, and then now I'm coming back down. Oh, gravity's helping me out now. Positive work from gravity. Oh, thank goodness. And now, oh, I'm going back up again. Negative work from gravity. If you added all that up, it'd be zero. The work done by the gravitational force through the loop is zero. Uh, so gravity would probably work out. A second definition is work done by the force from A to B is independent of path. So you don't have to just do this for loops. You can say, I'm going to go from here to here, B. So you can tell you're going to have to push against gravity, right? You're going to get some negative work from gravity. But uh, if you go here to here, just in a straight line, oh, OK, I had to do so much work, negative work from gravity from there to there. But what if I went all the way up here and back down? Oh my god, even more negative work from gravity, but now some positive work from gravity to make up for it. In the end, it's the same amount. What if I go down first? Oh, positive work from gravity. Now we're liking it, but now i got to oh, push back up negative work from gravity. In the end, it balances out, and you get the same thing. So it doesn't matter which way you go. You have the same amount of work from the gravitational force as you go from A to B. So gravity is uh, conservative. So uh, let's see. So of conservative forces, we know two so far in this class. One is gravitational uh, force is conservative. It follows these rules. Second one is the spring force we calculated. If you went through and did all this math, you could do it in one dimension for a spring you'd find both of these are true. A loop would be going from one place back in and back, be the same. A to B would just be, you go A to B like this. Uh, here's a spring, you go from A to B, or you could go from A to B by going A out to C, back to B. However you deal with a spring, it'll always be conservative. A third one that you may have heard of from other courses would be the electrostatic force. So if you take 102x, we'll talk about that force quite a bit. Um, and it is conservative. Examples of non-conservative forces are ones that do waste energy. And of course, the one we can think about is friction. So two here, let's do some non-conservative force. And of course, there is friction. So I'm going to break my chalk now and say, let's think now, instead of about the gravitational work, let's think about the friction force as I go around the loop. We'll start here, and the friction force is pushing back. The system's losing energy. I'm having to push, push, push. I'm losing, 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 losing. I never gained. Right? So the net work was not zero going around the loop. I always lost. And if I look at the what I lose going from A to B, lost the whole way. But what if I go up here? Oh my God! I lost a lot more. Right? You never change direction and gain. With friction, you always lose. So friction fails on both counts. It is not a conservative force. 
The other one, similar to friction, is drag. We did our air drag and our liquid drag, also not conservative. So you want to be able to identify the differences between those two. It's a very fundamental uh, difference. 